Hello and welcome to Krishi Jagran Business, platform that keeps you updated with all the agri news of the nation. This is Kushi Mutkal. Let's take a quick look at the top headlines of the day. Coffee to become new cash crop in Himachal, farmers to receive aid. Parshottam Rupala visits Norway's Salmon Hatchery Aquaculture Technologies Lab during Aqua Not 2023 exhibition meet. Special drone-based spraying service on rental basis launched by Salam Kisan, farmers producer organizations. Government moves Supreme Court to withdraw its order against commercial cultivation of genetically modified mustard. Onion farmers in Nasik Maharashtra stage protest against export duty. Now the news in detail. A one-day program was conducted in Himachal Pradesh on Wednesday, August 23rd at Dr. Y.S. Parmar University of Horticulture and Forestry, Noni. The program with support from the National Agricultural Higher Educational Projects Institutional Development Plan. Gumarvin MLA Rajesh Dharmani, who has initiated the discussions between the different stakeholders on the prospect of large-scale coffee cultivation in the state, was the chief guest on the occasion. Dharmani has sought the technical expertise of the university for conducting research on different coffee varieties that could be suitable for cultivation in areas with a conducive environment. A high-level delegation led by Parshottam Rupala, Union Minister of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Dairying, along with Dr. L. Murugan, Minister of State, Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Dairying, and Ms. Neetu Kumari Prasad, Joint Secretary, Department of Fisheries, visited Norway. The delegation participated in the Aqua Nord 2023 exhibition and interacted with the foreign delegates with the vision to strengthen the bilateral cooperation between India and Norway in the field of fisheries and aquaculture where the delegation witnessed the small production facility of the Norwegian company Leroy at its onshore recirculation aquaculture system. Salam Kisan, in collaboration with farmers' producer organizations, launched a first-of-its-kind drone-based spraying service on a rental basis for farmers in the Chandrapur district, Maharashtra. Sudhir Munagantiwar, Cabinet Minister for Forests, Cultural Affairs and Fisheries, Government of Maharashtra, unveiled the initiative during the Wild Vegetable Festival 2023 on August 15, 2023. Through this initiative, Salam Kisan aims to equip farmers with cutting-edge technology that not only enhances their agricultural practices and promotes sustainable resource usage but also contributes to their economic well-being. The Centre on Tuesday, August 22, 2023, asked the Supreme Court to withdraw its oral undertaking of November 2022, where it stated that it won't go ahead with the commercial cultivation of genetically modified mustard in the country. A bench comprising Justices B.V. Nagaratna and Ujwal Bhayan took into consideration the government's petition and issued notices to the petitioners who had filed a case in 2004. These included the Germany-based NGO, Gene Campaign and a group of activists led by Aruna Rodriguez. The government stated that the undertaking given by its council on not taking the process forward was not aimed at stopping the entire process of research and testing. Over 500 farmers temporarily blocked the Mumbai Agra Highway in Nasik, Maharashtra, protesting against the central government's imposition of a 40% export duty on onions, according to an official statement. The demonstration occurred in Chandwar, a rural area within the district, causing the major road to be obstructed for around one and a half hour. Police promptly intervened, successfully clearing the protesters from the area as per an official source. That's all for today's news. We'll be back with some more news updates tomorrow. Registrations for the MFY Awards 2023 organized by Krishi Jagran have started. Please check out the description box to register. For more updates on Agri News, stay tuned with Krishi Jagran Business. This is Khushi Mutkan.